For many years, families of missing or murdered Native Americans suffered quietly, fearing their loved ones had become distant memories. Now there's a fresh push at the state capitol to create a DPS alert system when indigenous people are reported missing. Plus, an OSBI liaison to help tribes investigate these cases. New at 10, our Vincent Hill brings you the stories of families left behind and what they're doing to make sure their loved one is not a forgotten face. Hundreds of drivers pass this billboard every day, going on with their daily lives. But who is the face on the billboard, and how did she end up here? These billboards sit along Interstate 44. They're on Comanche tribal land, just outside Lawton. One of them has a face and a message. I mean, what, what if it was your daughter? Selena Deloney was Renee Toity's daughter, and she was a mother. Peace. She was a wonderful mother. Loved her baby. Everything centered around my granddaughter. Selena was also Journey's older sister. The two seemed inseparable growing up. Journey even moved in with her big sister after Selena married. That was the only person that I had to talk to because we were always together. I was, we were never apart. But Journey says they had a falling out. I think that's kind of whenever everything started going downhill from there. Selena's family says she moved into this motel after the falling out and hit hard times. She was out of work, separated from her husband, and strapped for cash. She called me, you know, she said, Mommy, I, I need help. I told her I'd send her a pizza and And she said, thank you, Mommy, I love you. And I said, I love you too, baby. And that was the last time I heard my daughter's voice. It was January of 2017. The morning after that call, Selena's body was discovered in the middle of Paint Road. Comanche County Sheriff Kenny Stradley. Oh, she looked like somebody had just pushed her out of the car, shot her and pushed her out of the car. Selena's autopsy showed she had been shot four times one of those shots to the head. The sheriff's office has interviewed over 50 people and has one person at the top of his list. We're getting very close, but I just don't have enough to bring this individual in. But he has this message for anyone with information. We need their help. Don't wait till they come to your house and something happens to you or your family. Let us know where we can get this person off street and give them a new place to live. Selena's death prompted her niece, Angelina Steinmeier, to become an advocate for missing and murdered indigenous women. It is her platform cause as Junior Miss Indian, Oklahoma. And I learned how to speak for them. Our women and our men and our children are being taken away from us, and they're being sold, and they're being killed, and they're being kidnapped, and people are just turning their heads but through her work and a mother's pain. There's no words to describe it. I don't want to see this happen to anybody else in our community. They're, her killers are still out there walking around, you know, and I mean, what, what if it was your daughter? Law enforcement hunts her killer and her family anxiously waits for justice. So the next time you go speeding past this billboard, remember the message making sure Selena Deloney is not a forgotten face. We have more about Selena's case with this story on our website, kgrh.com slash forgotten faces. Vincent Hill, two works for you.